Hello gamers, and uh, welcome to this kind of all-inclusive AHK guide for GTA speedrunning. Um, if you don't know what Auto Hotkey is, it's, uh, it's a very powerful program that has a million different uses, and it can make your quality of life a lot better when it comes to GTA speedrunning, because uh, you can kind of automate a lot of the manual processes outside of actually, you know, when the time is not running. For example, like, you know, deleting files to avoid new game plus or uh, restarting the game and stuff like that. So if you've never used auto hotkey before, no worries. Uh, I'll take you through, you know, as though you've never installed it before, we'll go through it. We'll also go through uh, actually like how to make a script for it and how to run them and then all the different uses um, where it can be used in GTA speedrunning. So... If you want to go to autohotkey.com, I'll leave like links and whatnot in the description, uh, and you can download and install AutoHotkey. There's nothing you know particularly complicated to downloading it. It's just an installer. It's just a program that you have. Uh, it's not a program that you need to like run. It's just you need to have it installed in order to like make and run scripts. And then all you need to do in order to actually create a script is just create a like a text document or something like that and then the same way you would make like a batch file if you're familiar with those you can just call it like test.ahk rather than txt and you can see now you have your auto hockey scripts so by default you can run uh scripts like this so if i run it you can see in my taskbar this is the auto hockey script uh i can you know open it up and uh pause it and exit and whatever and then the way you actually like write them is by doing it in like a text editor. So I have Notepad++ here. Once you've booted up the uh, test script and you want to start writing, uh, get it in any of your favorite text editors, doesn't really matter which one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through uh, every single line of a script that you would use for San Andreas. And as we go through, I'm gonna talk through like what each line means and you know, then you can decide which lines exactly you want to, you want to place in your own script. Uh, some of them will be less mandatory than others, uh, but you know if we go through each line, then you can make sure that you have everything that you need, uh, whether it be you know accidental cheats, rebinding keys, um, making sure that you know the scripts only run once, they only run when San Andreas is active, and also to reboot the game in the fast manner. Um, so the first line that we'll start off with is just a single instance force. And all this basically means is that you cannot run the script more than once. So only one instance of the script is going to be running at any time. So that's good because you don't need any more and it may cause issues. Um, and then we want to make sure that we use hook uh, just to hook into the game properly. And then the third line will be if win active GTA San Andreas. So everything below this is only going to function when GTA San Andreas is like the window that you're currently focused on in Windows. Uh, to make sure that, you know, even if the, even if your PC is running 24-7, you can leave the script running 24-7 and it won't affect other things, you know, if you're using Discord or OBS or something, it won't cause any problems there. It will only happen for San Andreas. So... Uh, here is where you want to put anything that's kind of preference. So, for example, any key binds that you want to change. Um, so, one of the easiest things that we can change is simply changing one key to another. So, essentially a macro. So, for example, if you wanted to make sure that whenever you pressed WASD to avoid accidental cheats, that it wouldn't actually come up as WASD in game, then all you need to do is write the key that you are going to press on your keyboard, which we'll say W for now, and you type two colons and then the key that you want it to output. So in this case, we'll do F5 to, you know, that's the easiest way to prevent accidental cheats. We can do the same for the rest. So we'll put S as F6, we'll put A as F7, and D as F8. So now we have all four of the keys rebound, and if we were to go into game, then we can rebind the keys in game to F6, F7, F8, F5. I don't know why I counted that way, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and you will never accidentally cheat again, hopefully. 
Um, and here is where we can also put the fast boot sequence. So a really simple fast boot sequence is just putting uh, zero colon colon, which is just say like when you press this key, zero on my it's not on my numpad, it's on like, you know, my row at the top where all the numbers are. So just above P. It's not something that I would ever press by mistake, so it's a perfect key to have. And then we want it to close the game. So we do process, close, and then the name of the exe, which is gta underscore sa.exe. And then if you want to delete any replays, for example, then it is file delete, comma, and then where the path is. So for like, for example, I'll just quickly copy and paste mine. Give me a second here, just to avoid me writing it out. So this is my file path to my user files. And then the file that you want, which we can just do replay.rep for now. You can do the same with the save files, but you know, this is for demonstration purposes. And then we want to put a sleep command in. Uh, for some reason with San Andreas, this is necessary. It might be based on hardware. So if this number doesn't work for you, then you can just try it, you know, increase it, decrease it. Uh, but for me personally, I need to wait 200 milliseconds or whatever the unit of, you know, whatever the unit of uh, time is that AHK uses uh, before the game can reboot again. So we'll do, we close the process, we delete the files, then we sleep for a little bit, we snooze, and then we are going to run GTA SA.exe and comma, and then the file path to the game, which again, I'll copy just for the sake of making it easy on myself, which is here. And then one final thing that I'm going to uh, put right at the bottom of the script is just max hotkeys, oh, sorry, it's uh, lowercase max hotkeys per interval and I'm just going to put it to like a million uh, because otherwise if you do this in San Andreas and you're mashing a lot of keys then it then AHK sometimes pops up and says like hey you know be careful you're pressing a lot of keys or some shit so this will just avoid that issue and you know you'll never have to run into it again so if we save that script and we minimize and we run it and then we boot up San Andreas if all goes well hopefully it should delete our replay, and when we press zero, it should also restart the game. Perfect. So, the next section will go into all three uh, of the AHK files that I use, and specifically go through uh, each section and break down, you know, exactly what is used and how you can use it in runs. So, here is my GTA 3 AHK script that I use. Um, this pretty much covers all bases that we've already talked about in the intro um, and how to set up a script when we made the test one for San Andreas. If you skipped over that part and you're just looking for specifics to either you know GTA 3 in this example, then don't worry because I'll just give you a quick little summary. Um, essentially, we're going to use the AHK class of Grand Theft Auto 3. So this is just saying that when this class is active, aka when we're playing GTA 3, then it will run all this. Uh, so this is just to make sure that if you're running the script constantly, it will only affect the game and not other processes, like if you're using Discord and whatnot, won't make a difference. So the second line is our reset key, which I've set to zero, because it's a key that you're not going to press uh, very easily. And what happens is it closes the game. Uh, this case, you know, GTA3.exe is the game that we want to close. It's going to delete my replay and all of my saves in order to avoid New Game Plus. And then it is going to rerun the exe from this path, which is where my game is located. Then it's going to return, which is essentially just going back to the top. So you can, you know, whenever you press zero, it will go back here and it will do all this over and over again in a loop. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. And if we quickly boot up the game, you will see it in action. So if I make sure I have the script running, which I don't, give me a second. So if you see when we boot the game, if at any point during when I'm playing, I can just press my zero key and it will delete the game or close it and restart it. And I have no replay and I have no save slots. Perfect. So here is the Vice City AHK script that I use. It's slightly more complicated than the GTA 3 one, uh, but again, we'll go through it. So if uh, the class is active with Grand Theft Auto 3, which also works for Vice City, um, doesn't really matter. 
Um, when you press zero, it will close the Vice City process and then it will delete your replay, it will delete your saves, and it will reboot the game. When it reboots the game, it will uh, wait 800 milliseconds and then start sending a bunch of inputs. And as you can see, um, the inputs are for the Windows key and mouse buttons. So what this does is I, if I quickly boot up the game, I can show you, give me one second. As you can see here, there is this yellow Capcom logo that's only to the Japanese version and it is completely unskippable and it's you know kind of annoying to have to constantly restart the game if you're doing you know fast resets and you have to constantly stare at that logo so if i press 0 on my keyboard you can fix this problem as you can see if you press the windows key at a certain time and tab out of the game then you can skip that capcom logo entirely now this sounds all well and good and it is perfectly allowed for regular vice city attempts but keep in mind that if you are doing uh, trilogy runs where the timer is still running when you would be booting up the game, you need to make sure that you don't use this because it will invalidate your run as you are not allowed to do any kind of uh, like Windows OS abuse while the timer is running. So during normal runs, it's completely fine. My game crashed when I closed it because this game is really good. Um, but yeah, do not use this section uh, during trilogy, you can just delete it, and then, boom, you now have a, you now have a completely working and uh, legitimate version. So here is my San Andreas script. It is slightly different to the other two because we have some extra stuff in here. But as always, we'll go through. Uh, this first section is just forcing a single instance to make sure that you can't run like several of the same script at once. It's good to have. And this hook here is using a keyboard hook just to make the uh, keybind slightly more responsive. I've never used it without, so I don't know if it's mandatory, but there's no reason to not use it to my knowledge. So yeah, use the keyboard hook, I would recommend. And then as long as the active window is GTA San Andreas, then it will execute everything below it. So what these are is these are rebinds for accidental WAS and D cheats. So if you're not familiar with what WAS and D cheats are, essentially, uh, with the game that the ch with the way that the San Andreas hashes cheats, you can sometimes accidentally type in a cheat code by just driving around by pressing W A S and D. So the way you prevent this is by rebinding your W key to F5, S to F6, etc., etc., and also rebind your W A S and D in game to these keys, these F keys here. And what that will do is it will have your input will still be WS and D, so you drive as normal, but the game will be reading it as F key inputs. So then you will never accidentally cheat because it's not possible to cheat by just pressing the F keys. This left mouse button, you don't need to worry about this one. Uh, you can take it out if you want. It's just a tech issue that I had where my left mouse button wouldn't work in games, so I had to rebind it. Uh, don't worry too much about that, so we'll just take it out for now. And then the next section is exactly the same as what you've seen in the three and Vice City ones. If you haven't, you just need to know that when you press this key, which for me is zero, it closes the game, it deletes the replay and any saves that you might have. Uh, here, I have a 200 millisecond sleep or wait here because for some reason, if I don't have this, it doesn't work. But it might be hardware dependent. So check if you need it, check if you need to have it at a higher value. It might be different person to person. I only have one computer, so I can't speak uh, on that. But then, yeah, once it's slept or not slept, however many milliseconds, then it reboots the game. And then the final thing that we have here is just a max hotkeys per interval. All this does, if you're not familiar, is just avoid any warning dialogues that AHK will pop up if you're mashing a lot of keys, because obviously you'll, you will be mashing a lot of keys because you have so many different key binds. Uh, so if you just set it to like a million, you'll never run into that issue. So if we save it and run it, then you can see if I boot up San Andreas and I press zero, it will delete the game or uh, what's the word? I've completely forgotten the word, close the game. I'm a native speaker of English, by the way. It closes the game, restarts it nice and easy. Those are all the scripts that we've taken a look at. Uh, I will link to them in the description. You can modify them however you wish. The most important thing that you will definitely need to change for each of them is whenever I have a file path, you will need to change it. For example, like, you know, you'll instead of having like Ben and OneDrive and whatnot, because this is Swedish Windows, 
uh, you'll need to put your own version in, but you can just copy and paste it from File Explorer. I'm sure you can figure that out. You're all big boys and girls. So yeah, uh, that's the only thing that you'll need to change. Everything else is mostly preference, but this is a solid foundation to get you started. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help, you can ask in the GTA Speedrunning Discord, or you can find a way to reach me, you know, on Twitter, Twitter, Discord, YouTube comments, whatever. Try and find me and I'll do my best to help you out. And yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching. And yeah, hope you, hope you enjoy your new quality of life via automation.